watazamaji waone these are new new newborn oh mm, mm. these are kids uh, uh, that is their mother she gave birth to f she, she pro reproduced five and uh, that is the setup so Hello viewers, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone. Hello internet. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel once again. This is your man, Elder E.M. at Michorani Farm in Kiwezi region, Kenya, East Africa, Africa. And this is a vlog I'm doing especially to the world, to you people, my viewers, so that you get to see how now to culture Azola. In today's episode, I want to show you, I have two ingredients with me. I have water and I have manure, pure cow dug, cow dug, which is dry, which is actually dusty. It's dry, it has no urine, it has nothing, I mean apart from the manure part of it. And this is now the food to my Azola family. This is a typical Lazola pot. We just harvested this morning and now we want to multiply. We want to culture it so that it multiplies in the next seven days. I anticipate to get around 15 kilos of Azola in the next seven days. What is the secret? The secret is, as I will show you right now, is adding cow dug and water. You mix that composition and you pour. So this is my Azola. I continue enjoying Azola and the benefits of Azola and uh, for me to do the repeat process so that I may maximize or even culture the Azola itself I thought it wise to shoot the video as I this video as I do it practically so welcome along with me is my good friend a man we normally do the farming together at Michorani farm say hi to viewers and uh, Anthony is his name and my cameraman Hilary, who is now behind the scenes. So, Anthony, come along. You may give Anthony space. Uh, so, like I told you, turn this way. Like I told you, yes, this is a cow dung. This is a, a cement bag. Uh, like I told you, in my farming, I use locally available, local innovation, locally available material. I didn't have to buy sacks. I use use cement bags to collect my cow dug and place it there. But the right quantity for this uh, size of a, 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 a Zola pond is this, a 50 kg bag full of cow dug. This is, uh, like I told you, one meter by eight meters in length. So the other component, the other component is water. Water, bring it here. The other component is fresh water. Fresh uh, shallow well water or whatever source of water you get your water from, make sure that it is not saline. It is not high in salts. It's just water which can be consumed by human beings. This is the optimal uh, density, the optimal quantity of water which you need in your Azola Dam. Of course, I told you, you have to leave space. Because of an event it rains, it doesn't get flooded. Uh, that ma that's making you lose your Azola. So for now, we are doing the recipe. Kindly, where can you up? Just pour. Just pour. Pour. We are now pouring. We are now pouring. We are now pouring. You can as well apply it that way without mixing with water. But uh, for the sake of uh, ease of dissolution, 
we add water to make it kind of slurry or mud. That is just water. That is just water. Ebu, mix it up. Mix it up. This is now the secret behind Azola growth. We are adding, we are adding, we are making it slurry, we are making it, I mean, soluble, so that we may add it. Sasa, nipati. So, this is now the right composition. This is cow dug, as it should be. This is now the food to Azola. Look at me applying it. Very simple ways of application. That is me applying. Bring it here. Bring it here. This is me applying a, my cow dug to Azola. This is now Azola food. This is now Azola food. You make sure that you apply a lot of quantity for, for it to feed. This is now Azola food. We are now giving Azola food. In the next 14 days, it will have multiplied 10 times. I'll be in a position to harvest 15 kilos. More than this bucket. That is Azola food. This is Azola, pure Azola. Azola food. That is it. This is, you can see the first bucket is empty. Now we are going for a second one. Viewer, as you continue enjoying the content of my today's vlog, kindly remember to subscribe, like and share. Give me that subscription for the growth of this farm, for the sake of Meteorani farm, to support my channel. This is how it is a very simple process. There is no mathematics nor physics in this. It's about just making it sticky so that you pour on top. This is now as all of it will be dissolved within a day. And this is what Azola loves most. Cowder, manure, organic manure. Like I told you, Azola is a bacteria. Is a fen rich in protein for your poultry, cattle, I mean, and my husbandry. This thing comes fast. It has 40% protein content, which is ideal for growth of your, your poultry and, and your, I mean, your, your animals in general. So this is how we feed it. That is now how we apply it. Practically, this is how we give it food. The depth of this pond is just one, I mean 30 centimeter, one foot. But you fill the water to around 20 centimeter for purposes of, uh, of uh, to make sure that it doesn't uh, overflow. Zima Slim. Mm. Anthony just applied. Give me some more. I need to go to that far end. Yes. Takuja to produce a zile. Takuja to die. Wake up early. Make sure that. You give it all. These ones will come back and clean so that they continue the multiplication process. This is now Azola. Nothing should stick out. Mm -hmm. Nothing should stick out. You should make sure that everything goes to the pond for proper multiplication. Nothing should go out. Really. So, this is now how we feed as well. I'll feed it again after after 30 days. And uh, the feeding depends on the nature of, of the water. 
if the water is clear, get to know that your manure is depleting. So you replete, you add some new manure. That is the ultimate composition, just pour. So the manure will settle down there after a while. And then grow follows. Harvesting of Azola is so simple, you just use a sieve like this one. Then you collect your Azola every morning. Collect your Azola every morning and feed it to your livestock. This is me harvesting Azola, though the amounts are not a lot. But in 14 days, this thing will be 10 times what we are seeing. 10 times. This is now pure Azola. This is Azola, a bacteria, the secret behind successful poultry, uh, cattle keeping, and the likes, more so grade cows. You don't have to give this to the normal African zebus or <laughs> the traditional cows. This is for uh, hybrid cows, poultry, ducks, I mean chicken, ducks, goose, all what we are keeping. Guinea fowl, the birds, this is the ideal thing. They will lay like they have a contract to deliver. <laughs> so that is it for now, viewer. Kindly remember to subscribe, like and share my clip to support my channel and to support my farming activities. From Kibwezi region, Michorani farm, it's me again, that's the name of my channel. Bye bye, ciao, enjoy a farming. Bye.